this video is a continuation of the previous video that I did where I taught you people how to write a proper outline part one using Bilonia romance novel as an example okay so in today's video i am going to show you how to write a proper outline using werewolf romance okay and i want you to know some certain things before you start drafting out your werewolf outline okay you're supposed to understand how werewolf romance novel work the terms in werewolf novels okay like you're supposed to know that werewolf are imaginary creations they are not real they are imaginary creations so when you are writing your novels on werewolf romance you are the owner of that word okay you are the one that we say what is going to happen in your novel okay so before we get started i would like you to know the that there are terms you need to use in werewolf novel to make it werewolf novel okay you need to know the meaning of the terms like alpha beta gamma luna omega mates mating rugs wolf's ban marking mind linking and many more so i am going to recommend a platform or you can just search online and look for terms used in werewolf let me show you the one that i use so that you can get an idea of what all these things means okay this is whatpad app you can go to whatpad app and look for the werewolf guide okay as you can see under this place you see the werewolf guide you can search on the search bar and you get it so through that you will understand the terms used in werewolf romance novels okay the first thing you have to do before you after learning the terms um in werewolf the first thing you have to do is for you to get your story ideas there are lots of story ideas on the platform on google on any platform of your choice you can read the description the synopsis or the blog to get story ideas okay so in this outline this is the story idea i have so in this outline we have that naomi carter was a 21 year old orphan in her park she was known as the luna but she was also considered weak naomi's best friend violent was jealous of her because she held the important position of Luna. So Violent decided to poison Naomi. Suddenly, Naomi ate the poison and died. But something magical happened. The moon goddess gave Naomi a, a new life. She was reborn in the body of another lady named Mila. Okay, this is my story idea. This story idea is what we are going to use to generate our outline and this story idea is also going to help you in knowing the beginning of your story and the ending of your story okay so even if you have not written a long story before getting a perfect story idea is going to help you achieve a lot i will also advise you if you like watching movies you can watch all these um philippine mexican uh, uh, movies to get story ideas because they have a lot of story ideas okay so for you to give your book name use your story idea to generate the name of your book okay so from this story idea the title of this our uh, book is going to be naomi to mila the reborn luna or the rebirth of the luna or the rebirth of naomi this is the title i generated using this story idea okay so what is the genre the genre is werewolf romance novel as and the troop is rebirth second chance mate then this theme you can leave it after plotting your 
outline you can put it there or i'm just putting it here for you to know what is going to happen in the outline okay so the theme here we have the pregnancy betrayal love death second chance and many more actually but let's just be going with this okay so the setting you know as i said earlier that you are the owner of this world okay as the author as the writer of this novel you are the owner of the world okay so you can name your is a is an imaginary um creation so you can just name it what you want you can name it mystical land what um, butter water and um, bottle water park something like that um bull park something like that just make it sound um reasonable you can get idea online um google and a lot of ai out there can help you generate settings for your novel okay then after that let's look at the blog some platform calls that synopsis why some say description of your novel so look, looking at the description of our novel we have that naomi carter was wrongly accused of attempting to poison her best friend violent who is the new luna of the park in an attempt to prove her innocence Naomi was forced to eat from the same plate she was accused of poisoning. Unfortunately, she died immediately as it was revealed to be part of violent plan. The moon goddess gave Naomi Carter a second chance and she is determined to seek revenge. In her previous life, she made mistakes by being too kind, naive and trusting the wrong people including her supposed best friend and the person she loves so much, Alpha Damian Kingston. She was betrayed, hurt, and lost everything, even her life. In this new life, she swears to get revenge on those evil individuals. However, she didn't expect to find true love with someone unexpected, especially someone who is already married to the lady whose body she in her beats okay so this is the blog or the synopsis or description of the story that we are going to draft out okay so in in the last part of this description we have a question like what function will alex play in her new life will she tell him the truth will she reclaim her rightful place as luna so this will keep your readers I'm anxious to know who is Alex and how will she tell Alex the truth? It will Naomi go back as a Luna of her pack? So all these things are what you have to create in the mind of your readers, okay? So you make your... I have said it earlier that any story without conflict is not a, a proper story, okay? So for you to create a long story, you must have a lot of conflict in your story, okay? So with this with this in mind, we go through our characterization. Our characterization, I told you earlier that for you to place your characterization in your outline, it is going to be the major characters, okay? And for me, I would say the people that appeared in your outline, that is your plot you are going to add them in your character characterization okay so in the the first thing we have here is our female lead our female lead which is the fl shortened fl the name is naomi carter okay age 21 years at the beginning of the story what is the occupation the occupation is the lunar of crystal blue pack i'll advise you to listen to this video watch this video till the end because watch it judiciously because you are going to learn a lot by the special grace of the almighty i am going to try my possible best to pinpoint all the things you need to know when plotting out your plot okay so we have the occupation the lunar of crystal blue pack then the physical description soft brown air her eyes held a gentle glow reflecting reflecting kindness and a fragile appearance okay the wolf form is 
gray brown weak wolf i don't i have not seen gray brown i just came out with that <laughs> so my dear my dear that's how to write werewolf novel you have to come out with something read books you will get a lot of ideas okay so what is the personality of naomi naomi is a werewolf who has been chosen as the lunar of her pax alpha however naomi faces challenges in fulfilling her role due to her physical weakness compared to other werewolves in the pack this leads to feelings of insecurity about her abilities despite these struggles naomi remains dedicated to her alpha and the members of her pack she possesses a compassionate nature and is fiercely loyal willing to go to great length to protect her loved ones this video is going to be quite long but you are going to get a lot from this video trust me if, if you are willing to to take this to to the next level you are going to achieve a lot if you are a go-getter you are going to achieve a lot from this video so let's move on this video is not for entertainment it's, it's for people that want to learn okay so the male lead the ml name damian kingston age 34 34 years occupation alpha of the crystal blue pack physical description blue eyes long brown hair he is enormous massive then the wolf form powerful slack forward sharp white teeth the personality damian kingston is a powerful and tough way wolf who commands respect from his pack as the alpha he, he is the strongest wolf in the park and is feared by others due to his great deal of physical strength and unwavering bravery okay so this is what the male lead then the side female lead the sfl the name is violent lookman age 22 years occupation second lunar of the cresta new pack i wanted to write the fake lunar but let's just leave it as the second lunar of the crystal blue pack personality violence is a jealous and wicked best friend of naomi and has sharp envious eyes that suggest her deceitful nature her dark hair framed a face that hid a sinister motive unlike naomi violence possessed a cunning strength which which she used to plan and execute her betrayer that there was of the side male lead name alex occupation melody second chance mate and the alpha of the golden west pack then we have the other major characters we have derrick who is the naomi's stepbrother then we have mila naomi's second chance body we have ada mila's best friend we have Ruth, violent wicked maid. So with this now in mind, we can be able to plot our outline. We are going to draft our plots, the exposition, which is the beginning. So with the our story idea in mind, remember our story idea. Okay? Our story idea is all about a young lady named Naomi Katra, who was 21 year old orphan and the lunar of our pack she is weak you know almost all the platform they prefer a weak uh female lead that after everything she will emerge as the strongest okay so using this our story idea in mind we are going to go in details to plot our our plot okay so the exposition which is the beginning of the story if you're asking yourself how do i get names on uh, of my characters i use online i will still sh um, show you at the end of this video how i got the names of my characters okay so you're not going to be confused how do you get names how do you do that and also bear in mind that you are going to use the name based on the location of that platform okay so by god's grace at the end of this video i'm going to show you how to get names for your characters okay so in the exposition part we have that naomi holds the position of luna in her pack but she is considered the weakest among them 
When Naomi was young, her parents passed away, leaving only her and her elder brother, Derek, who is the better of their pack. Naomi is married to Damien, the alpha of her pack. Their love was love at first sight, and they have been married for three years. However, everything suddenly changed when Damien, Damien Kingston, became distant and cold towards Naomi because she was unable to conceive a child in the past three years. During this difficult time, Damien Kingston starts having an affair with Naomi's best friend, Violent, who has always been envious of her. Violent has desired everything that Naomi has ever had, even since they were children. Violent knew that the only way to have Damien Kingston all to herself was to give him a child and become his new winner. You see, the beginning of this story started with conflict. The, bet the betrayer, the love, the betrayer of a best friend, the betrayer of a loved one. You see, with the idea of this exposition, you can be able to generate your chapter 1 to 3. Yes, your chapter 1 to 3, your 5,000 words. Okay? Using a fast phase um, attempt. Okay? You can generate your chapter 1 to 3 using your exposition. Okay? So let's move into detail. And you as from what you have observed, if you are a good observer, you will observe that I am not describing any scene in this my um, exposition, okay? I do not say um, Naomi enters the room, she saw them kissing, blah, 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 blah. No, I am going straight to the point, telling you, hitting what is going to happen, okay? It is when you are now developing your chapter one chapter two to the last chapter you are not going to be describing the scene okay and remember in in stories like this you are doing more of showing and not telling okay so let's go into this i don't want this video to be long but for tell you the truth is going to be long okay so after your exposition we have the inciting incident the inciting incident we have that violence lied about being pregnant to win the affection of the alpha damian Damian Kingston was excited about the news and even threw a party to celebrate the upcoming arrival of his supposed heir. This made Damian Kingston neglect his previous Luna, Naomi, who was devastated by his actions. However, two weeks later, Naomi becomes pregnant, which deeply upsets violence because her pregnancy was a lie. Violent didn't expect Damian Kingston to still be intimate with Naomi after marrying her. Fearing that the truth about her fake pregnancy would be exposed and that, and that Naomi would give Damian Kingston a legitimate heir, Violent planned to get rid of Naomi. I, I see the odds. Violent conspires with a maid to accuse Naomi of poisoning her food and report this to Kingston. Violent had already planned everything with the maid to frame Naomi. Violent manipulates Damian Kingston into believing that Naomi is jealous of her because she can give him an A and that's why she poisoned Violent's food to harm her baby. Violent also threats Naomi's doctor to lie and say that Naomi lied about her pregnancy or else she will accuse him of giving her the poison used to kill Naomi. So are you seeing the beauty of this story? Conflict, conflict, conflict. And that's the beauty of stories. If you want to watch movies, I will recommend you watch this one. Uh, um, I will never say goodbye, okay? That's a very beautiful uh, movie to watch that will give you a lot of ideas to write all these conflicts in, in stories, okay? So with Damien being gullible, believes all of violent accusations without due investigation. He roughly went to Naomi's room, dragged and ordered her to kneel before everyone. In an attempt to prove her innocency, Naomi is forced to eat from the same plate she was accused of poisoning. Unknown to her, Violent had poisoned the plate 
to get rid of her. Naomi's brother, Derek, who is the better of their pack, defends her because he knows she is not capable of hurting anyone, especially an innocent baby. He insists that Naomi ate from the plate to prove her innocence. Tragically, as Naomi takes a bite, she immediately collapses and dies. Violent finally achieves her goal and becomes the lunar of the pack. Hmm. Are you seeing the beauty of this story? Okay. So the rising action, this rising action, I put a um, plot twist there because when you're writing your, when you are drafting out your, your outline, your plots, when you are in rising action, you need to start adding the plot twist. Okay. Then also in, in the climax, you'll start adding your plot twist. Okay. It's not necessary that you're going to put this plot twist I put by the side. I just put it there so that I will remember to tell you that, okay? So, in the rising action, we see that a lot of things happened, okay? Naomi's life took an unexpected turn. We are in the rising action now. When she finds herself in a mysterious forest inside a cave, having just experienced what seems to be her death, However, her grief lessens when she realizes that she has survived. Although waking up in the unfamiliar body of a young woman named Mila. Mila, a strong werewolf belonging to the famous Golden West Park, a distant small town with affectionate members. She was cherished among her fellow werewolves, loved by all because of her loving kindness. Her sudden disappearance during a, a clash with a rival pack left everyone looking for answers. Okay? Are you seeing? We are developing it. So with this, you can be able to draft out a long story, not describing anything. Okay? So we have that during the delivery of her child with Alex, another group of werewolf attacked them. She was too weak to fight back. With her last bit of energy, she gave her daughter to her friend, Ada, who was there during the bed. Then she went into the forest to help Alex and their packmates in the fight. They were successful, but she disappeared. They couldn't find her body or any sign of where she went. This left Alex and their new bomb baby deserted. deserted. A year later, Naomi appeared in their town. It was strange because she was in Mela's body. People were surprised to see Mela. But Naomi was even more confused because she couldn't explain what was happening. Naomi's clear memory was getting married to her alpha, Damian Kingston. Now, she finds herself in a different town inside someone else's body. Alex was shocked to see her again after a year. It took some time for Naomi to understand that she had been reborn and now she possessed a stronger werewolf spirit inside Millian's, Millian's body. Okay, as you can see, from a weak werewolf to a strong wolf. Okay, so that's the beauty of developing a good outline. Okay, let's continue. As soon as she drank the herbs given to her by the past doctor to help her sleep, she suddenly remembered everything. Instead of bringing rest, the herbs triggered clear memories of her past life. She recalled everything from how Damian Kingston had married her best friend, Violent, to how she had become pregnant before tragically losing her life. Okay, as you can see, I'm not describing anything. I am just telling you what is going to happen. Okay, it is when you are developing your chapters, you are not going to be describing, say, making it to be long. Okay, but don't, don't be slow. Okay, make it fast. Okay, so as soon as Naomi remembered her pregnancy, she asked the doctor to check on her baby. However, to her surprise, 
the doctor find no baby or womb. It turned out that Mila had a difficult delivery, which resulted in her womb being removed. This made Naomi realize more that the body she was in was not her own. But she soon discovered that the moon goddess had given her a new life in Milan's body, along with her daughter and Alex. In this new life, she became Alex Luna. Alex deeply loved Mila, and her sudden disappearance greatly affected him. He struggled to understand the changes in Mila, but still loved her. He decided to give her time to recover from her mysterious disappearance. Naomi, however, had had a hard time trusting anyone in her new life, including Ada, who used to be Milan's best friend before Naomi inhabited her body. She had forgotten what love felt like after being treated badly by Damian Kingston, the man she loved so much. Her heart was consumed by hatred and a strong thirst for revenge especially now that she possessed strange powers okay here is our plot twist remember i said a story without twist that is conflict is not going to be beautiful it's not going to be sweet okay so conflict makes your stories to be long and also interesting okay when you deviate from your main aim and then move your readers to another edge so they are going to be like how is it going to happen what is going to happen next okay so in the plot twist one in our rising action we have that in the town of golden west naomi stumbled upon a shocking revelation the rival pack werewolf pack that attacked golden west on the night miller vanished we are the we are the same we are the same wolf who killed who had killed her parents because of her new abilities strange powers and strength she was filled with a great desire to track down the pack however before she can face that naomi plans to go back to crystal blue park to finish an unresolved battle between her damian and violent okay then the the plot twist to true adam Naomi learns a surprising truth. Her stepbrother, Derek, was chosen to be the alpha of their pack in Golden West. However, his mother flew the pack with him when he was little, changing his destiny. Fueled by the desire for revenge and a need for inner peace, Naomi decided to leave Golden West behind in her quest for justice. Okay? So meanwhile, Naomi had developed feelings for Alex, who was unaware that she wasn't Mila, struggling to find a way to disclose her true identity. Naomi went on a secret journey. During one night, she left a note for Alex, assuring him that his Mila would return soon, and then she departed for Crystal Blue. That is her pack. Okay. Alex had opened Naomi's heart to love again and had shown her the true meaning of this powerful emotion called love. Okay, coming to the climax section, we have we're also going to add our plot twist. Okay, have that Naomi arrived in crystal blue with a completely new identity. She had all the knowledge about crystal blue, it alpha Damian Kingston. Alex and Violent, making it easy for her to gain their trust. Naomi discovered that Violent had deceived everyone by pretending to be pregnant when she wasn't. With the help of with the help of the pack doctor, Violent lied about having a miscarriage after after becoming Luna. Just as Violent had seduced damian kingston away from naomi naomi used the same tactics to win him back from, from violence naomi knew damian kingston naomi knew damian kingston weaknesses and took advantage of them
Violet became jealous when she noticed Damien Kingston growing closer to the new wolf, Mila. Mila's presence started to make Violet uncomfortable and become and she began to see her and she began to see her as a threat to her position. Naomi decided to keep her true identity a secret and introduce herself to everyone as Mila, the person whose body she now occupied. A rival pack launched a a rival pack launched a dangerous attack on her pack, causing serious damage. To Naomi's surprise, she recognized the alpha of the attacking pack. It was the same pack that had killed her parents years ago, and now they had returned with the same hidden motives. She couldn't understand why they were back and what their motives were. Okay. Then the plot twist one, we have that Naomi soon discovers a shocking truth. Her brother Derek was the ma was the mastermind behind the attacks. He had teamed up with Violent, who was his lover, to help to plan everything. You see, this is a twist. At the end of the climax, the twist is going to be unveiling. Okay, so to plan everything, Derek had always desired to become the alpha of their pack but because of the pack's rules he knew he couldn't claim that position violent had her intention of becoming the lunar or the mate of the alpha so she and derrick worked together to plan a devious king their plan involved violent marrying damian casting the current alpha and then launching an attack that would kill him after his death Violent marries Derek, making him the new alpha of the pack. Then the the second twist, this video is becoming so long. Naomi was completely unaware that Derek was her stepbrother until Adam revealed the truth during their time in Golden West. Derek had always felt like an outsider, but Naomi discovered that he was supposed to be the next alpha of the Golden West pack. However, his mother ran away with him and brought him to the Crystal Blue Park, where he become, where he, he could only become the better, who is second in command. Filled with anger and a deep hatred for his mother and Naomi's father, his stepdad, Derek devised a plan to launch the attack that resulted in their death. He had been pretending all along, manipulating situations to achieve his desire. Derek was the mastermind behind the attack on Golden West that tragically took Melian's life. He, he held a strong hatred towards Golden West Park because he believed his park had betrayed him and didn't intend to bring him back to take his position of Alpha after his father's death. Instead, his stepbrother Alex was crowned as the new Alpha in Golden West leaving Derek feeling bitter and overlooked. In Crystal Blue, Derek was positioned as bitter, as better, the second in command of the past. No one had any knowledge about Derek's troubled past until Naomi uncovered the truth and drew the lines together. During the attack on the Crystal Blue Park, Naomi bravely stepped in to save Damian Kingston from being killed by one of the enemy wolves. Despite feeling an in-depth amount of pain, Naomi used her newfound strength as a werewolf to help her mother pack in the fight. With her assistance, her pack was able to defeat the attackers. Now, fully aware of the truth, Naomi refused to let Violent and Derek succeed in their devious plans. She still had feelings for Damian Kingston and couldn't bear to see him harmed or killed. Determined to clear her name and seek revenge on Violent and Drake and Derek, Naomi devised a plan. She decided to expose Violent by using the maid who had falsely accused her of poison Violent's food. During the night, Naomi would quietly leave her room to leave terrifying messages for the maid, Ruth. Frightened by the notes, Ruth showed them to Violent. 
Wu reassured her of her safety. However, the threatening messages continued, pushing Ruth to her breaking point. Unable to bear it any longer, Ruth decided to come clean to Damian Kingston. She confessed that she had lied about Naomi and that, and that she was innocent, but she didn't reveal anything about violent involvement in sending her to do it all. Okay? Uh, coming down to the denouement, the ending. So in this ending part, you start unveiling, okay? In full, because it is the ending part of your story, you start to unveil it, okay? So Damian Casey was extremely angry and commanded Ruth to be arrested and killed right away. Violence was filled with fear because she worried that Ruth might expose her. So she had to find a way to eliminate her first. Naomi, who understood violent personality very well, knew that violence would go to any length to protect her reputation. Naomi was aware that violence would attempt to kill Ruth, to silence her. The night before Ruth's termination, Naomi secretly went to the cell where Ruth was held and passed a letter. The letter promised to assist Ruth in staying alive if she betrayed violence and revealed that she was the mastermind behind the accusations. Ruth didn't have any other option but to comply to protect, to protect herself. She sent for Damian Kingston and confessed everything to him. She shared all the plans violence had made right from the start to the end. She also revealed that Naomi's doctor was involved as well. Damian Kingston was heartbroken. Damian Kingston was heartbroken upon knowing the truth. He stormed into violent room to confront her, but she had already fled before he could reach her. When Violent heard that truth had called for Damian Kingston, she realized that her time was running out, so she had to escape. However, Naomi closely watched her actions. Naomi knew that Violent was planning to run away, so she followed her closely. As soon as she arrived in the wood, Naomi launched an attack on Violent. Violent was completely surprised by Miller's attack, unaware that it was Naomi. They engaged in a fight for some time. Eventually, Naomi revealed her true identity to Violent and explained that she had been reborn. Naomi made it clear that she was fully aware of all the actions that Violent and Derek had taken. Violent was filled with shock and wanted to escape, but Naomi caught up with her before she could run. Naomi injected her with a slow-acting poison that would cause her to gradually die. She left Violent lying in the wood, unable to move or speak. She as just as Naomi was about to leave, Derek appeared and attacked her. The siblings' bond vanished when Naomi discovered that Derek had killed their parents. Mila put up a fight, but Derek was stronger. They engaged in a battle, and Derek emerged victorious. Naomi confessed to Derek, Derek that she knew about all the things he had done and the plan he had made with Violent. Violent lay on the ground helpless like rotting tomatoes as she watched the intense fight between Derek and Naomi in Miller's body. She was unable to intervene, sim just simply watching. Just as Derek was about to kill Naomi, ne Damian Kingston and other werewolves arrived at the scene, commanding him to stop. Because of fear, he directed his aggressions to Damian Kingston by attacking him. The, the other werewolf who accompanied Damian Kingston pinned Derek, holding him down. This unexpected turn of events surprised everyone, most especially Derek's attack on Damian Kingston. Meanwhile, Naomi stood up and told Damian Kingston the truth about violence and Derek. Derek, knowing that he had no other options, confessed everything without remorse. He expressed his strong dislike for Damian Kingston, their pack, and Naomi. Damian Kingston was overwhelmed with sorrow as he angrily killed Derek instantly ending his life. Sadly, before they could assist Violent, she had 
already passed away. Although Damian Kirsten felt relieved, relieved that everything was finally over, he couldn't stop the regret of losing his love, his beloved Luna. Wanting to repay Naomi for saving his life, Damian Kirsten promised to grant her anything she desired. Naomi requested the re Naomi requested the release of Maid Maid Ruth. Damian Kirsten hesitated for a while, but later granted her her request. Despite Naomi's deep love for Damian Kirsten, she knew a a better world awaited her. Naomi had become Mela, a new identity, and she understood she had been given a second chance that she must make the most of. She worked tirelessly to clear her name and reputation. And reputation. Meanwhile, Damian Kingston was left heartbroken. He visited Naomi's grave, desperately seeking for her forgiveness. Unknown to him, Naomi continued to watch over him from behind. Unable to speak, she approached him and reassured him that she was certain Naomi had forgiven him. Immediately after Naomi had completed her mission, she left her town early in the morning. Before leaving, she left behind a note for Damian Kingston expressing her love, her deep love for him. Naomi was filled with gratitude for the chance to return and fix her past mistakes. However, she couldn't ignore the fact that her present identity, Mila, had left behind a daughter. Naomi herself couldn't bear any children due to damage done to Mila's womb. When Alex saw Naomi, he was taken by surprise. He had believed she had disappeared again, but she had come to stay with him. Naomi settled in Golden West alongside Alex and Mila's daughter, becoming his Luna. She never revealed the truth to Alex. She filled, she fully embraced her new life as Mila. Oh, Jesus, this is so long. Um, remember, I wanted to know that you are going to start including your twist from your inciting incidents and climax. Then towards the end of your climax, start unveiling everything, okay? So remember, do not describe a scene. Don't say, Naomi entered. Um, Derry did that the, um, cough, um, talk to her, blah, blah, blah. Don't describe scene, okay? So this video is becoming so long. Then for you to get your characters, get your character's name online if you are confused. For example, good novel, writing for Singapore. You go online and search for Singapore names, okay? For female and male, okay? Then the, the next thing is for you to calm down to draft your outline, okay? Then... After writing, you are going to, for me, I want to show you how to use zero chat GPT to, to check um, chat GPT free content, okay? For people that are hiring um, writers. So for you to check if the person used chat GPT to write the outline for you or the story for you, this is what you are going to do. You copy it, you then you head over to your Google and type in, type in zero chatgpt.com okay go to the space put in your everything just do it then click on dictate text so you leave it for it to load okay so this is it it's only show only the 15,000 characters are shown in free version this is free version so if you want small, you can. So as you can see, this is this my outline is zero percent. In fact, almost zero percent AI GP. It is human written. Okay, so you can achieve that by reading a lot of novels. Okay, okay. So this is it. So if you have any question, do where to ask in the comment section. Okay, I'm going to answer all the question in the comment section. Do not come to my DM. Coming to my DM means that you are ready to pay for my course. Okay. So if you want to pay for the course, no problem, come to my DM. I'm going to give you access to the course, okay, for a fee, okay? Until then, see you in my next video. Bye-bye.